the next sub classification of error is random errors these random errors are also called errors due to the invisible facts Randomness means no regularity in order. So what is the meaning of this random error? Suppose a student is trying to find the length or thickness of a small wire which was given in finite dimensions. Let us take this is a wire of AB. Now we should find out the thickness of this wire. Maybe it is made up of some metal wires, metal made. The best instrument to make to find the thickness of this wire is screw gauge the structure of the screw gauge is like this I'm drawing some a rough sketch so it's a mounted one now we used to rotate this one while this while you are rotating the studs will come forward already one stud will be fixed here we should keep this wire between these studs if a student is not fixing properly while he is repeating the experiment fixing the wire between the studs of screw gauge the first trial for the first trial he fixed it very tightly second trial in the second trial he fixed it with little bit looseness in the third trial he more fixed it tightly means uh, there is a variation in applying the pressure with the help of studs of screw gauge to measure the thickness this will give a values of variation so variation of values The student might think that uh, it is due to the, um, it is not due to the tightening or loosening the object between the studs. It is due to the some other factors. He don't know what it is. So the reasons which are invisible and we are simply neglecting, but which affect the result is called a random error. So in this experiment, we can define the random error like this also. Means these errors we are not at all caring. We are neglecting it. Still, it is able to show some effect in finding the result. What is the way to eliminate this error? Take n number of trials, whatever it is possible, and find the arithmetic mean of it. Number of trials and find the arithmetic mean. AM, nothing but the average of those values. Sum of the observation by number of observations. Like this, we can eliminate this uh, random errors. This is not that much classified into subclassified way, but like in the previous cases, uh, like this, we can uh, see the examples for this random error. Next, we will discuss some more errors which affects the result of the experiment. The next subclassified errors are first one constant error before this one we have discussed about the random errors and systematic errors and these are the next classification constant error means suppose if a physical quantity was measured by using the same instrument for several times but in that if the error is also fixed constantly that is called constant error what is the explanation? Take a faulty scale, scale which was made faulty. On this faulty scale, the length 1 centimeter was marked as 1.1 centimeter. Let us suppose. Means already there is an error in measurement. The faulty scale means the scale which was manufactured with faults. So if an examiner or if an observer doesn't know this, without knowing he attempted the experiment for several times every time he is getting wrong 
but because of getting the same answer for every trial he is thinking that that is the correct answer this is the problem with this faulty scale in the case of constant error so what we can understand is if a physical quantity was measured by using the same device repeatedly or several times if the error is fixed in that measurement then the error is called constant error then the error is called constant error this is another type of error the next one is gross error gross error means error in the calculation simply we can say let us suppose the length of a body if it is some 4.21 cm length of body instead of substituting this 4.21 in the formula what is the result it is a student has substituted 2.41 let us suppose maybe a hearing problem lack of concentration whatever it is many reasons now the whole result will change it leads to the error in the calculation but it is not actually done it is the mistake by a student by substituting a wrong value it leads to the wrongness in higher ways this is one type of gross error and this gross error is due to not only due to the human mistakes it is also due to the lack of precautions while doing the experiment some experiment needs more precautions suppose if any student is doing experiments with magnetic bodies surroundings to some part there should be no other magnetic medium if a person is suppose finding the locus of all magnetic fields tan a tan b positions magnetic meridian simply such type of experiments and electricity experiments and which is placed near to the magnet it leads to a corruption in the result why already the magnet which is placed externally is influencing this system without knowing this if the student does this experiment it will give wrong precautions wrong predictions in all trials like this also we will get some wrong answer totally wrong answer so as a result it will show the wrong answer and it leads to the error so this error also occurred due to the not taking the precautions precautionless so we should take proper precautions to conduct any experiment at any condition especially while we are doing the experiments with electricity and magnetism some circuits in the electricity sometimes it leaks the current in a higher ways it causes to the explosion so this type of precautions we should take to remove this gross error this four whatever it is constant error gross error random error systematic error these all four are under the classification of errors if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus